Foi. You okay, can okay, do okay, it! Okay, okay, okay. Aí tá. Gravalo, é? Ready? Yeah. Ready? Action. Ah. Sim. Hey! Do you spit on this? <laughs> 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 What we have is a variety of rubber stoppers, which I picked up from Granger. And that's it. Just simply take the EGR valve, which is this here, you know, plug it up, and then wedge it in place so it doesn't blow out. Okay, so here we have the test set up for an EGR. See that down in there for the 2007 Freightliner Coronado. And when it's the EGR cooler, what we're getting is bubbles in the reservoir that are puking all the fluid out of there. So if you look back in here, you can see that. What I've done is I've used this bar here, wedged up against this, and down in there, in the back of the EGR cooler here, you really can't see it, I disconnected the disconnected our flex tube out of metal this is coming off of the exhaust and it'll melt something else and I put a rubber stopper on the end of the EGR valve. What I have set up here is my oxygen setup, oxygen acetylene, we're just running oxygen and we're going through a valve that allows us to choke it down to 15 pounds and there's a rubber stopper in there. And we come across here and we look for bubbles in the Coolant chamber. And here we have bubbles coming out of our overflow in the reservoir. So that tells us we got problems. Okay, so here what we've done is we've taken the EGR cooler off of the truck and we put it into a pail of water. Uh, the same 15 pounds of air coming from the oxygen settling set up through the same rubber stopper. And you can see bubbles coming out of the number. That's the, I believe the feed line that would come from the oil cooler. And this is the truck owner, Bobby Blue. Hell of a guy. He was uh, present and helping out for this uh, procedure. Okay, so here's the EGR cooler where the actual one and a half inch tube that goes and ties into your intake manifold uh, across the top of the motor. This is where we introduce the air and if you have coolant leaking into the uh, exhaust then here is where you'll find a pasty substance. You'll also find it in your intake manifold. What we found was exhaust leaking into the coolant. So it was completely opposite. Uh, think of your EGR cooler as a small radiator. Um, it's sectioned off between the coolant and the actual gas. So have fun with that.